So here's the big question. How are entrepreneurs like us, who have been hustling and struggling to make it to success, who seem to make it one step forward, only to fall two steps back, who are dedicated, determined, and driven, how do we finally break through and win? That is the question, and this podcast will give you the answers. My name is Brian Kelly, and this is the Mind Body Business Show. Hello, everyone, and welcome, welcome, welcome to the Mind Body Business Show. We have an amazing, amazing guest tonight, and I cannot wait to share her and her brilliance with you. And so I'm going to get through this intro as fast as humanly possible. I also love to let you know what is this show? It's called the Mind Body Business Show, and it is a show for entrepreneurs by entrepreneurs. And we bring only successful entrepreneurs on this show so that you can get the value you're looking for so that you can take notes and model their success. Because really, do we want to reinvent the wheel and do it ourselves? And the answer is no. You want to get the ego out of the way and simply listen to people like Honoré Corder, who's coming on very, very soon. She's ready. She's waiting. She's smiling. She's anticipating. She is coming on. She's going to just ooze with value and really, really set aside everything. I mean everything. Put your phone away unless you're watching the show on it. Uh, put away all distractions. Close those tabs. Get Facebook and, and jettison it unless you're watching on Facebook, of course. And uh, just be present because this is a show that does literally change lives. I've talked to so many people who have listened to the show, who have watched it, who said what an impact it's had on their lives. And we don't even charge any money for it. Can you believe that? Maybe I should. Maybe that's an idea. The Mind Body Business Show, it's about what I call the three pillars of success. In my now 56 years on this planet, I began studying only successful people like Honoré who have done and achieved things that I aspire to achieve. I'm looking to raise my game, so to speak. So about a decade or so ago, I began doing that, studying only successful people. And those three things kept bubbling up to the top. I, I noticed these patterns and they, to a person, they took care of those three things. They they developed a very incredibly positive and flexible mind set. It's all about the mind. It's the foundation to where you are today, whether it's successful or unsuccessful is 100% due to what's going on up here. Yes, it is true. And then the body. That is literally about taking care of oneself through nutrition, through exercise. And again, to a person, every single person that I studied that was had achieved immense success had taken care of both of these and the area of business. One of my favorites. They're all my favorite. Business is multi multifaceted. It is uh, what happened there is these incredible individuals had mastered various skill sets that are required to run a successful business. Skill sets like sales, uh, marketing, team building, systematizing, leadership. I could go on for a very long time. There are a lot of skill sets that are required to start, nurture, and grow a successful company. The good news is you don't need to master every single one of them. In fact, not even the ones I just mentioned. If you master just one, just one, and it was actually in the list I just, just mentioned. I wonder if you can guess what it is. All right, I'll let you know. It's leadership. Leadership. If you master leadership, oh my goodness, now you can delegate to all of those people that already have mastered those skill sets that you may not yet have. And now you have a thriving business and you can get running very, very quickly, not doing it all yourself. There's so much wonderful things, but I want to get to our guest in just a moment. And another thing that uh, very successful people do is to a person is they read and maybe they write. We'll get into that one real soon. And uh, with that, I like to segue into a little segment I affectionately call bookmarks. Bookmarks. Born to read. Bookmarks. Ready. Steady. Read. Bookmarks. Brought to you by ReachYourPeakLibrary.com. There you go. ReachYourPeakLibrary.com. And again, stay with us. What do I mean by that? I mean, you know, take out maybe a piece of paper. Do you remember what those things look like or feel like? And maybe that old-fashioned writing instrument and take notes. Write down these resources. I know Honoré has many for you, as I drop my pen. She has many for you that you'll want to write down and stay on the show. 
do not go clicking away is what I'm saying because the magic happens in the room. I would hate for her to be in the middle of a golden nugget and you take your gaze off and your attention somewhere else and miss what could possibly be that one bit of information that could change your life from now going forward forever. And it's happened many times. I've spoken from stage. I've watched people leave the room right at the moment when we're about to give away the big juice. So stay with us um, and, and engage with us. Let us know you're here. I see a few comments coming in. We'll get to those in just a moment and ask questions. I love engagement. Reach Your Peak Library, and then we're going to get to Honoré, I swear. I promise. I cannot wait to bring her on. ReachYourPeakLibrary.com. That is a resource I had created for you, and I truly, honestly mean that, for entrepreneurs, for the budding business person, someone looking to get to the next level of wherever they are today. You could be a beginner or an advanced entrepreneur, and there are books in this list that you can take and and actually take advantage of the information in there and actually take your level, your business and level it up. That's what I'm trying to say. And your personal life as well. So you'll see there's quite a list here. These are only uh, books that I personally read. That's why there is a special website for it. And they're all links that just go to Amazon. They're just here for you to have a collective set of books. And I'm gonna be adding one to it. And hopefully we talk about it tonight on the show that I just learned of while I was talking to Honore right before the show, already giving me value. And we'll share that with you. Uh, but these are a, this is a place you can come where books are vetted by someone else who's already achieved success so that at least the odds of you getting something from that book are increased over just, you know, picking a book that's in the business category off of Amazon. That is what ReachYourPeakLibrary.com is all about. I hope you enjoy that. I hope you get you pick some great reads and let us know. I want to hear back about all these great books you're reading. OK. All right. I'm excited. It's time. This is it. We are going to now. Bring on, you guessed it, Honoré Quarter. She is coming on right now. It's time for the guest expert spotlight. Savvy, skillful, professional, adept, trained, big league, qualified. There she is, ladies and gentlemen, the one, the only, Honoré Quarter. Woo, yes. <laughs> All the way from Tennessee on the I East Coast where they are cold right now. I'm in Southern California. It's a little cold here. It's not quite as nipply as there uh, in your area, but thank you so very much, Honoré, for coming on and gracing the stage tonight for our viewers and listeners. I cannot tell you how thankful I am to have you here. I am so delighted to be with you. Thank you for having me, even though I'm freezing and you had to just throw it out there that you're in Southern California. That's a little rude. <laughs> <laughs> so not cool. Uh oh, I just started it off on a bad note. Don't do that, Brian. <laughs> Ever again. No to self. I'm going to take that down. <laughs> yes, and you will notice we are going to have some fun, and it's okay. Look, business yeah. can be hard enough. Let's enjoy the ride. You know, yeah. you can be serious, and you can also have fun at the same time. Um, what I wanted to do real quick, I want to give you the the intro that you that you deserve. That's respectful. In just a moment, what I want to do is let everybody know a couple of bookkeeping moments here, a couple of great resources they should look into, and then we're going to jump right into it. Does that sound cool? Of course. All right. Hey, look, if you are struggling with putting a live show together and it's overwhelming and you want a lot of the processes possibly done for you while still enabling you to put on a high quality show and connect with great people like Honoré and grow your business all at the same time then you might want to head on over to carpetbombmarketing.com. Carpet Bomb Marketing, saturate the marketplace with your message. And one of the key components that is contained in that Carpet Bomb Marketing course is one that you'll learn how to absolutely master. And it is the very service we use to stream our live shows right here, right now on the Mind Body Business Show. And over the course of the past nine years, we have tried so many of these quote unquote TV studio solutions for live streaming. And I'll tell you right now, StreamYard is the best of the best. It combines supreme ease of use along with unmatched functionality. So start streaming high quality, professional looking live shows for free with StreamYard now. Visit the website you see on the screen. That is ryp.im forward slash stream live. All right, we've got the bookkeeping out of the way, and now it's time to bring on this magnificent, magnificent woman. Her name is 
Honore Corder, and she is an executive and strategic book and publishing coach. This is going to be a great show, ladies and gentlemen. She is a TEDx speaker and the author of more than this one will knock you off your seat 50 five zero books, including You Must Write a Book. I hope we talk about that tonight. Additionally, she is the creator of the Miracle Morning Book Series with Hal Elrod. Honore passionately helps businesses, uh, business professionals and entrepreneurs write, publish, and monetize their books. I love this. Boost their brands and get much more business. I will say that's something that sets her apart from many publishers out there in the market. We'll get into that a little bit deeper as we go in the show. She also runs the Empire Builders Mastermind, does all sorts of other magical things, I have no doubt, and her badassery is legendary. That's so cool. You can find out more about her at honorecorder.com. Please now officially help me welcome this amazing young woman to the stage. Thank you once again for coming on. This is going to be a great show. I'm so happy to be here. Ah. Man, so being an entrepreneur, we all know is super, super simple. We never have issues. It's always just a smooth oh. slate, right? I know it's uh, being yeah. very sarcastic. <laughs> and Blue so, horns, rainbows, all the things. <laughs> <laughs> now, your achievements are vast, your accolades are great, and I love that. And what I like to do always when I open a show is go deeper. Uh, and it's not like personal deep, it's just I want to learn because I know, and I know you know this too, Honore, is that. Everything we have, everything we've achieved or haven't is all due to what's going on up here right now. Yeah. Uh, what's going on in that wonderful, beautiful, big brain of yours, Honore? That's what I want to know. So when you get up in the morning okay. <laughs> and know that um, it's going to be another day ahead of you, there's challenges yeah. every single day. You're a flexible person. But for those who aren't like used to doing that, what is it that for you keeps you driven every morning when you get up to keep doing this day in and day out? What's going on up in that beautiful brain of yours when you get oh. up? Um, well, I have been uh, trained like a seal that if I stick with my schedule and my process, I'm probably going to positively impact someone's life. And I live for those messages that I get. So messages on my posts or emails that I get in my inbox, sometimes even an actual mail a uh, piece of mail comes into my mailbox from someone that wrote a letter to me to say, hey, I heard you speaking or I read something that you wrote. I read a book that you wrote or I read a blog post that you wrote or I heard you on a podcast or something. And you said that one thing and here's what I did and it changed my life. And that is like um, a hit, like it's a hit of dopamine, right? It's like, oh gosh, I live for that. So I, I, I'm i trained to like, well, get up because maybe you're going to impact someone's life today and make a difference. And so then I get up and do it all over again every day. And I, I just want to make the note that that is what sets successful entrepreneurs apart from all others is what you just said right there is helping people and the, the, the passion you get from that, the joy you get from that, how yeah. it feeds you how it moves you, motivates you day in and day out. And I'm, I just so appreciate you for having that mindset and having that approach in your life. It's not about, you know, she didn't say, oh, I just can't wait to get up and see that next $100,000 check come in the mail. She, had, she said nothing about money. Money's important, don't get me wrong. We all get that. Sure, and sure. Yeah. You know what? I hope Honore is blessed with tens and hundreds of millions of dollars very soon because when she makes more money, what is she gonna do? She's going to serve more people. And help more people. That that's how correct. entrepreneurs that are successful. Correct. Like, right. like her, that's how that works. So bless the person who's driving by in that Lamborghini the next time you see him on the freeway. Instead of cursing them, um, say, right. "Gosh, bless them. They've done something good. They've they brought a lot of value to this world, right?" Race them in your own Lamborghini. <laughs> <laughs> that's right. <laughs> you go. You go. Come on, let's run. <laughs> Awesome. That, that was awesome. Is yes. Okay. <laughs> is any law enforcement watching? That never happens. I never do that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we have a couple coming on. Renee Rambo McEwen. Hello. Excited to hear what Honore has to say tonight. Thank you so much. Keep it coming. And Fran, Jesse, looking forward to your podcast. Oh, thank you, Fran. You're amazing. Appreciate you all. Keep them coming. Keep them coming. We love interaction. Cool. Now, I'm going to go out on a, on a huge limb here and ask a really like crazy question, but I was just going to, mm -hmm. I was just curious if, uh, you know, you, you may, you've written 50 books, but I wonder if you're at all an avid reader of books. Yeah. <laughs> and if so, yes. what would you say um, would be yeah. like the, the latest 
um, big one that you read that really hit home with you and you got a lot of um, value from? So I read a book called The Bezos Letters. I'm fortunate enough to know the authors, uh, Steve Anderson and Karen Anderson. Um, they wrote a, a book about the letters that Jeff Bezos sends annually to their shareholders explaining what they did that year and why. So when I guess when Jeff, according to the book, which I'm, sh I'm sure the book is a million percent accurate, um, when Jeff started the company, he wrote a letter to his shareholders and he actually broke down the principles that he would then put in place over the coming years to make his uh, shareholders happy and to grow the company. It's a fascinating book about about you know how why Amazon is successful and how entrepreneurs can emulate the principles of Amula of Amazon and Jeff Bezos to be successful in their own business. Fascinating, terrific, amazing book. Oof, there's another one I have to add to the list. Oh, I I'm get sorry. to add to the list. Get to I know it happens to me every day. I wake up every day and I say I'm going to have a positive attitude, impact lives, and I'm not going to buy any more books. And then I immediately <laughs> buy more books. <laughs> <laughs> and then I immediately buy more books. It's so, yeah, it's so <laughs> I get those Amazon uh, Audible credits, and they're gone. Yeah. They're you know I get so many, and they're just yeah. gone. I've got so many books yeah. I'm behind, but uh, yeah. oh, I just love this. And and this is a very big tip for folks that are looking. If you haven't achieved any, um, you know, a level of success similar to Hunter A yet. And that is is to read books and read very impactful books that are going to help you. And when people like Honoré give you an, um, a suggestion, a recommendation, I mean, if I wasn't doing the show this moment, I would have my phone out and I would be purchasing it on Audible. And that's what I do all the time. If I'm sitting and watching people speak from stage, and if you were up there today and doing that, and you said that book, I bought it. I've already got it. I don't. That's how we get in trouble. <laughs> Pardon? That's how we have a to be read pile that's 400 books deep, right? It, it, it in trouble me. in a good way. Yeah. Yes. And it gives no me something goes, to look forward to, right? <laughs> yes, exactly. No one goes to goes to uh, to any institutional uh, incarceration for buying too many books. I'm just saying. It's safe. <laughs> it's the safe of what oh, yeah. <laughs> There are far, far worse things that one can do, right? <laughs> that's right. Yeah, reading books, I didn't, I never put a whole lot of weight to it personally for, I mean, decades until I was in my 40s. Literally, I didn't read anything. And then, uh, then I learned and realized, oh my gosh. And then, then began seeing the results after reading. You saw a bunch of them. That's not the whole list. I'm a little behind on the reachapeaklibrary.com, but um, my goodness. Speaking of books, I, I, while it's on my head, I know that you're an author and you have it on your website, but a little birdie said, uh, told me that you might have a copy near you that you could hoist up and show the peeps. Well, of course. All right. Um, yeah. So I have one right here. This is so, the hardcover. Yes. You must write a book, boost your brand, you get more business, and become the go to expert. Tell us a little more about that book, if you might. Sure. Um, well, the backstory is that I went to uh, New York as a guest of Amazon a few years ago uh, with a few other authors, and they were highlighting the most uh, recent book that we had written. And I said, well, wouldn't it be helpful if there was a book about why everyone should write and publish a book, why it's beneficial for entrepreneurs and professionals to write a book? And they said, yes, Andre, that would be great. If you could just flip that out, that would be super. And so that's what I did. I wrote um this book, which is the book that I wish that I had had when I first was given the idea to write a book, I was given the thought that as a coach, so as a business coach and a speaker, that writing a book would be the next most logical way to differentiate myself as a professional, as the expert, as the authority. And um, I wrote the book that I wished that I had had. And so when I went to New York, um, I got to have that book featured. Um, and uh, it's been one of my favorite books because it helps me to help people to write books and to change their lives. And then I get what I call book babies in the mail. So they're like, my book had a book baby, right? Via someone else. So I'm like a, like a, a, a mom or a, a grandmother of, of all these books. And so I get them in the mail and it's really fun because I've gotten them from all over the world in all different languages. Someone will say, I, I read, you must write a book. And then I wrote my book and here it is. And they send it to me, which is very cool. Oh, that's gotta be so rewarding and fulfilling. My goodness. 
Yes. Well, I know what's going to happen for someone when they become an author. Someone who's aspiring to be an author says, I want to be an author, but they're not really sure, like, is it going to be worth it? Is it going to be worth the time and the money and all the effort that goes into it? And on the other side of it, I was so glad I took that advice because it completely changed the trajectory of my life and my business, my businesses, my friendships, my partnerships, where I get to go, all the things I get to do. So when someone says, I'm contemplating writing a book, I'm like, you have to do it. Just do it. That is phenomenal. <laughs> and yeah. you mentioned business, and yeah, let's let's use that as a great segue. Uh, I'm always deeply curious, uh, especially you know, you you see a lot of bios, and you read a lot about people, and you see that their websites and what they're doing. But for me, I like to know well, what is it you actually do. What what kind of clients? What is your ideal client? Like you know, getting a little deeper. What is your like they would call an avatar? Um, who do you yeah. cater to? What are the people that that flock to you, that are attracted to you based on the fact that you help them write and publish their book and become more, get greater exposure and get more business. What is that for you? Um, the There are two kinds of people that I work with primarily. One is the entrepreneur or the business professional who wants to differentiate themselves and become the authority um, and create brand uh, name and face recognition in their in their world, right? Whatever their world is, they want to be the person that people go to in a book without question sets them apart. So they come to me and I either teach them through a course that I have called Publishing PhD, which is based on you must write a book, but much broader and deeper. And then other people come to me and they say, I have more money than time and I want you to do it, Honoré. <laughs> so I say, great, I have my checklist and off we go. And so for a select few people, um, I actually do all of that for them. That's phenomenal. I, and the thing that sets you apart that we were talking just before, one of the things is that it's not just how to write a book and it's not just how to publish a book, but what happens after those two have occurred. Well, can you expand on that a little bit? You know, the marketing. Yeah. yeah. Yes. So my uh, my very, very favorite thing to do is to help people to monetize their book. And mm -hmm. I break it into two categories, marketing the book. So earning royalties from book sales, very simply said, but also marketing with your book is um, second to none, right? So someone says, you know, do you have a business card? And of course you say, why? Yes, I have a business card, but I also have a book. And then you watch the eyes of the person go, you know, big saucers like kids on Christmas morning because uh -huh. they go, oh gosh, you're an author. That means you are the expert, you're the authority, right? So it sets you apart right away. It causes conversations. You get to be the cool kid at parties, right? So oh, you wrote a book. Tell me about your book. All those fun things. Um, so my uh, my expertise and the thing that I like the most is to really um, go forensically into someone's business and to figure out what it is that they want more of in their business and to connect their business to their ideal clients and customers through their book. Wow. And that's done in a multitude of ways. But it's it's different for every person, but the the fundamentals are the same, right? It's like getting in shape. You have to eat right and you have to exercise, but it's different for every single person. It's the same with authors. It's a little bit different for everybody. That is so unique. I don't see too many book publishers that take it to the next step and then do like a customized marketing plan strategy for you. Uh, that's phenomenal. Uh, real quick, I forgot to mention earlier, we we're also sponsored by these incredible people up here called the Big Insider Secrets. You see that big red stamp if you're watching video. And I wanted to call everybody out, let you know that if you stay on to the very end, I'll put that up on the bottom. If you stay up to the very end of this show, you will get the chance to win a five night stay at a five star luxury resort. And there are other resorts all over the place. It's Mexico. There's places in the United States you can choose. And all you have to do is stay on to the end and we'll tell you how you can enter to win that. Again, compliments of my pals at TheBigInsiderSecrets.com, Jason Nast and his company. Uh, appreciate them beyond belief. Uh, just wanted to get that in there. Be sure that I showed the love and I hope you win because, look, you will get to move about the country and the world. I, I just know it again soon. <laughs> I can't yes. wait. Yes. <laughs> so, um what is your key? And you know, look, a lot of entrepreneurs that are just starting, they're looking for that quick kill because they have a more of a scarcity mindset. And it's natural, it's okay, because they need to 
pay the bills, right? And so they're more money centric in that those beginning stages. But what they will find quickly is that is not a sustainable approach to go after quick kill sales and not build for what I'm getting at is the longer term, you know, to right. build and nurture relationships that can result in business. Some of them may not, but that's okay. And it takes longer to establish that. So for you, um, I got the wrong banner up there. Where'd that come from? For you, uh, Honoré, what is what has worked for you to achieving long-term success? What are some of the strategies you've implemented? Um, gosh, there's a there's a whole um, there's a whole list of them. So I'll run through, and then you stop me when you want me to talk about one of them. Um, so the first thing is I have a morning routine and an evening routine. So I have a power up routine in the morning. So when I get up in the morning, I have a routine that I that I walk through every morning before I uh, encounter another human. <laughs> so I got to get, I got to push the on button basically. Um, and then at the end of the day, I have a power down routine so that I can sleep well um, at night and get all of the stuff out of my mind that's accumulated um, throughout the day. In between, I have you know, a long-term plan. So I love that you said that, right? I always talk about building long-term relationships, have long have a long-term plan, do the long-term play. So you can do the quick kill um, and that can feed you for a minute. But if you build these long-term relationships and you have a long-term plan, you're going to be successful over the long-term. So I suggest having long-term consistency based on a long-term plan, building long-term relationships, because that's where the majority of your business is going to come from over the long-term. At some point, you will then have a business that's built on recurring business and referral business. And that is the best place to be, is your phone and your email box are constantly um, popping up with new leads and new people to talk to. And they're coming to you because they've already worked with you in the past, or they are referred to you by someone who has worked with you in the past. And no one, there is no way I can say to you, I'm fabulous, you should work with me, and have you take it the same way as if someone else said, she's fabulous, you should work with her. I've had a great experience, and that no like trust factor transfers over. So everything that someone should do should really start with the long term relationship in mind and then building one day at a time, not being in a rush, right? Say my time is your time to the to the client and mean it because they will come around if you are great at what you do. I appreciate that so much for so many people who don't understand it yet. Uh, you know, certain industries are less long-term. I like to name out, and I have nothing against a uh, network marketing industry, but a lot of companies there, just the training methods they have for how you uh, get people interested. It's straight out of the boat, you know, hey, come make a bunch of money with me or I've got the greatest products in sliced bread, but it's not opening with a relationship building approach because that takes time. And and that's actually where I started. I started in network yeah. marketing and I built the long-term, the big business, the long-term relationships, people that are still ordering products for me. And I have not worked in the business for, Oh gosh, I'm only 30. So what can, <laughs> what can I say? No, um, I haven't worked in the business in 18 years, That's but I cool. still get a bonus check every single month. I still have customers who order because, and I believe this is really important. I think here's the, here's the X factor, right? You can come, you can make a lot of money, but the person that you're working with wants to know that you actually care about them mm. and actually caring about your client or actually caring about your customer and building a long-term relationship as opposed to it's a transaction. You buy from me, I make my money, I never hear from you again. Exactly. That's, I think that's magic. I think that's magic right there. You said that perfect. And that's the thing. Uh, uh, and I'm not saying every company is bad. They're not. There's a lot of great ones out there. I used to co own a, a network marketing company for six years back in the day, way back in the day. And I, I believe in the concept. It's just is if it's taught properly. I've just seen so many that weren't. And of just course. use it as one example. You are the the great example to say. I mean, there is proof in the pudding right there. 18 years later, still receiving bonus checks because of the long-term relationship she established over the time that she was building that business. And that just speaks volumes. Do you want a quick kill, get some decent money in the beginning, but never see any ever again and never have any relationships to build on? I mean, it's not just about money. We all, we all get that. You get to help people. That's the beautiful thing. And for you, they had 
an incredible sponsor, someone who obviously deeply cares about them, who wants them to succeed. And you have to want it too, yeah. right? There's no getting around that. You got to also want That's it right. and put in the work. That's right. That's right. But I appreciate you really um, nailing that down about long term because it is that it, it, yeah. I think it's that important to, to spend the amount of time we have on it already. I just think it's yeah. uh, it, it's a heavy hitter right there and it does yeah. a lot of people a lot of good for sure. Well, and I'll just give, I'll just go one more and just say that if you have people that you haven't talked to in five years or 10 years or 15 years or 20 years or a year, and you're thinking of them, pick up the phone and call them for no reason. Just mm. pick up the phone and say, what do, what do you need next most in your life? I was just thinking about you. I found you in say phone, but it could be your Rolodex, right? Depending on if you're a person of a certain age, you know what a Rolodex is, <laughs> oh, yeah. right? But I was flipping through my Rolodex and I saw your name and it's been way too long. And I thought I would pick up the phone and give you a call or send you an email or send you a message. And I just want to know how you're doing. There is magic in those conversations that you have with people that you haven't connected with in a really long time. Gosh, that is, it's crazy you say that. Cause I, I recently did that. I didn't call cause I didn't have their phone number. Um, but yeah. I, I hunted them down cause it was in my mind and he was like my best friend in the latter part of elementary and then into junior high. And, you know, wow. he's a very bright guy and we would compete on all of our grades and, and he, uh, he ended up moving back. He's on the East coast somewhere and he's doing some stuff for the government that he isn't very public with his contact information. Mm. And so ah, I found yeah. out that he was married. I, I found her on Facebook and I messaged her just out of the blue saying, Hey, please don't be alarmed by this. I'm, I'm just an old friend of his. And I would, if he's open to it, I'd like just have a chat and just catch up. That was it. Um, yeah. So it's it's very true. It's it's interesting how it works. You know, you know who you know every one of you that are listening and watching. Right. You this know somebody. You. Yep. Yes, and also there's got to be someone who added value to your life back in the day and gave you a hand up, and you can't return the favor to them, but you sure can pick up the phone and say, "Hey, you made a difference in my life at one point." I just want to say thank you for that. Send them a handwritten note if you can. Those all of those things for the long term are very beneficial, and you just never know where you're going to plant a seed and it's going to come back multiplied to you another way. So give it a try. Let us know how it works. And like you said, plant a seed, like what you're doing right now, you're show, you just showed up. I know it's late for you and you still, you know, this is my up. midnight. <laughs> this is my midnight, Brian. <laughs> and that's why I appreciate you. You know, you went the extra mile, you came on, you showed up, you're, you're a product of the product. You, you talk the talk, you don't just wait, you walk the walk, you don't just talk the talk. Um, you know, that's what it takes to become everything she's talking about, all of it, not just pieces. And, and then there's more are what it takes to become successful. And you need to really, really become that person to, to make it. Uh, I loved it. She said she has routines. Almost every person I've interviewed that's successful on this show, Henri, has has routines. You know, and it, it doesn't not, mean that. It's not they sexy. Have to, it's <laughs> What's that? <laughs> my, my, it's not sexy. Routines are not sexy. <laughs> They're not like, ooh, I'm living large, right? Um, but yeah. I'm happy, right? And so it's not finding. It's not my routine for someone else. It's you find the find the code. Find crack your code. Find your routine, and you will end up being happy no matter what's going on around you. No matter what's going on in the world, it all starts with up here. Having that routine to make yourself. Um, I don't want to say bulletproof, but I guess bulletproof, right? It doesn't matter what's going on because you control your psychology and whether you're happy um, or you're not, right? Other things can can come at you, but you've got a force field against them if you find the routine that that makes you strong. Yeah, I, I think of it as a form of discipline, you know, and um, yeah. that's the word itself isn't sexy. <laughs> so we no. all get that. But here's the thing. Uh, yeah. You feel really good if you work out on a regular yeah. basis and if you eat and drink the right food and drink and right. is that sexy? Not while you're doing it. It ain't, it's no fun. I mean, you're, no. you're inflicting pain on your body literally when you're working out and you know, to a degree, it's a small amount. And then you're eating and drinking stuff that may not taste the best, but it's a discipline. <laughs> I'm 82% grilled chicken. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. I'm 82% grilled chicken and 18% water. <laughs> <laughs> that's my trainer. <laughs> yes. Yes. But the results are what you, yes. what you're looking for. Right. And the results of, and what is it they say? There are a couple of things, right. That, that I've heard. Um, traditional education will make you a living. 
self-education will make you a fortune, right? Do more today than others are willing to do so that you can live the life that you want to live later or something like that. I'm paraphrasing very poorly. It's late for me, but you are, I think you and I are saying the same thing. It's like have the discipline to do the things that others aren't willing to do so that you can have and do and be the things that others won't be able to have. And it's good on the other side. It just takes a while. You've got to give it the time that it takes to kick in. It takes a Thank minute. You. Thank you for saying all that. Because oh, you're welcome. Not everybody does. Uh, they're, they're not hiding anything. It's just not everybody brings it up to the forefront. It takes work. It takes dedication. It takes time. Yep. There is no quick fix to, you know, massive overnight success. It took, you know, honor <laughs> eight, it took honor eight, probably those eighteen years to become an overnight success, right? Oh, all of the years. Yes, <laughs> and, all of the years. It, and it just continues, right? We're always looking to just continue to raise the bar for ourselves. And it's 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 not money driven. It's about taking it. It's challenge driven. It's it's serving driven. And the money comes as a byproduct. And yes, it's awesome. But I love the fact that what drives people like you, Henri, isn't just the mighty dollar. It's about helping and serving more people, getting more people to themselves earn more money and have a better yes. life because they have a, a yes. book that you help them publish. Yes. And I think that the best thing that you can do when you have uh, wealth, right? So wealth and prosperity is not just money. It's time and love and space and energy, right? So that is true wealth. Um, but the best thing you can do is give it away. Mm. And you talked about that on your TEDx talk. I, that was interesting. Uh, mm. That was phenomenal. Do you mind? Could you tell that real quick? That story, that was oh, so Oh, sure. Cool. Sure. Um, I have a philosophy that I started writing when I was 20, I think in my early, maybe 20 or 21, just like principles, things that I wanted to live by. And one of the things that I realized is that you, um, if you want something, you have to give it away. Dr. Shackley, the company that I was in, he would say, what you give away, you keep. And said another way is if you want more of something, then give it away. If you want more love, give it away. If you want more money, give it away because there's the law of reciprocity, the law of return, right? The law of giving and receiving. Well, the law of giving and receiving starts with giving, <laughs> right? You have to give and you want to receive. Well, as an author, I wanted more honest five-star reviews for my books, obviously, right? <laughs> what do you want? You want honest five-star reviews on Amazon. That's what we all want. That's what authors are living for, right? So if you ever read a book and you like it, if you have something nice to say, please go to Amazon and review the book. Well, I realized that I read a tremendous number of books and I wasn't reviewing the books that I had something nice to say. Here I was reading two, three, four, five books a week and I wanted reviews, but I wasn't giving them away. And I was like, well, gosh, Honor, you're not eating your own dog food. Yes, I talked to myself. <laughs> Surprise. Um, <laughs> right? And I realized that if I wanted it, I had to give it away. The very next book that I read was The Miracle Morning by Hal Elrod. And um, I went, oh, my gosh, what, a, what an incredible story. Um, I've had a morning routine for a million years, but here's this amazing book. I'm going to go write a review for this book and I'm going to tell everyone I know about it. So I wrote a, a review on Amazon and on Goodreads. Hal saw the review, saw that I had already written a series, a book series, the successful single mom book series. And he reached out to me and he said, let's have a conversation. Would you like to write the, six, the Miracle Morning for Single Moms? And I thought, no, I don't but I'll talk to him. Let's have a conversation. Always have a conversation. I thought I was done writing books for single moms. Turns out I was right. I, I never got to write The Miracle Morning for Single Moms. I think it's on a draft on my computer somewhere. But what I did do was join forces with Hal to help him turn The Miracle Morning book into The Miracle Morning book series. And there are 12 main titles in that book series or 12 uh, titles in that series that came after the main book and have been translated into 37 languages. And we have all different, you know, workbooks, and we have the Miracle Morning Companion Planner. Um, uh, wow. That's the, a companion to the main book. The, I know that only I, in my mind because tomorrow is the anniversary of that book, so we published it two or three years ago. So I have those in my calendar, like a book anniversary comes up in my calendar. So I'm about to check Al and say, "How oh, we're having a book anniversary." Um, but all of that because I went back to what do I want more of. So it's always like, what's in it for me? So start with what's in it for you? What do you need next most in your life right now? Find a way to give that to someone else. Hmm. Start the law of giving and receiving because you're not going to receive until you give first. And the great thing about the law of giving and receiving is that it comes back multiplied. 
So you give something, I gave a review for a book, and I don't know how you quantify what's come back to me yeah. with that relationship with creating, writing all of those books when impact with impacting all the lives that have been impacted with all of the books. I mean, it's just incalculable that just that one decision that I made, gosh, well, I'm being selfish. I want more book reviews, right? But it's like, what, how can I start that law in, in action? That's, and that's so great. Uh, you know, I, I talk about this quite a bit about just showing up. That's what you did. You just showed up by writing a review. You spent your valuable time in helping boost someone else's ratings, whether they needed it or not, who knows, because they might've already had a bunch, but yeah, uh, you know, that's something I like to do when, when I used to go to seminars and, and workshops and boot camps was be the last one in the room, not on purpose. I just always found myself being the last guest. And then I'd say, well, I'm here. I'm not in a rush to get out. How can I help you guys? Do you need help taking your chairs down? Whatever. I didn't care. And it's, I started doing it just kind of out of just, it was natural for me. And I started realizing I'm able to talk to the people that ran the event now, as I'm doing this, like, yeah, this is pretty right. cool. Yeah. And I just right. made, made uh, yeah. great friendships and relationships over the years and uh, crewed on some of those uh, as a result and had a great time. And then ultimately became a speaker myself on stage, which it was just a, progression of wonderful yeah. thing after wonderful thing doing like what you just said is you know give it first before expecting to receive it and i, right. did it and I wasn't expecting, expecting it from hell i wasn't expecting anything from hell i just was like right. okay like i need to i need to you know practice what i preach walk my talk right i'm just saying <laughs> you know give away what you want more of well what do you want more of honore like you know sit down with a piece of paper pull out your journal as tony robbins would say pull out your success journal <laughs> Right. We have any old school Tony Robbins fans, right? And his personal power, he'd say, pull out your success journal and write this down. Well, write down what you want more of and then figure out. And if you want more money and you're thinking, well, I don't have any money, that's why I need more money, then figure out how you can give money. Like you've got a dollar, right? You've got a dollar. It's going to come back to you multiplied. You've got a dime. It's going to come back to you multiplied. You can give a thousand bucks, give a thousand bucks. It'll come back to you multiplied. Just, just test it. It works. Phenomenal. Every yes. Time. Oh. Todd Singleton's commenting from a little while ago, a long while ago. No, long term, long term. He's <laughs> totally into hey, that. Todd. And then whatever we were talking about, Ryan flips and agrees with. He said, so true. Thanks so I much did. for coming All on. Of it. Thank yes. you, Ryan. <laughs> Just every <laughs> single word that That's has been right. spoken by this young lady. <laughs> Thanks so much for coming on and interacting with us, all of you wonderful guests and viewers in the audience and looking forward to having you. Um, also, don't forget to um, subscribe to our podcast. We have an audio only podcast, so you can listen to shows like this at any time and just have that in your, your car and use that alongside your audio books. Uh, I have many friends and, and colleagues and other people who've listened to the show who I had a I had a gentleman working on the deck outside just a few weeks ago, and he was listening to this show <laughs> while he was working, and he would then report on all the great stuff he got from it because of the guests that were on the show. It's like it's just so fulfilling, and so I, all that to say, what you were saying earlier, Honore, is that it just fuels you to keep going and help people. Because the thing I love about it is all I have to do is stop talking and give the mic to Honore, and then she just spews all this value and then your lives are changed forever and i all i did was connect you to her so that's awesome uh this you're very welcome ryan he says thanks brian and and, and at honore i think that's Anne, but yes so cool give it away and it will come back yes renee rambo McEwen. rambo <laughs> love it love it love it keep them coming wow oh we're, we're getting there honore i promise we're getting oh, there. No, We're I'm good. Down. I'm good. I'm fired up now. I don't. I'm not going to be able to go to bed now. Thanks a lot. <laughs> now I'm awake. Well, we need to need to share that power down uh, routine so we can all take take advice from that because I need to do the same after this is oh, over. Right on. Yeah. So I um so at night when it's time to go to bed, I do a meditation. I do a short meditation. Mm -hmm. So there's a great app called um, what is it called? Um, Unplug. 
Unplug is a, a meditation app and you can do one minute meditations. You can do hour and a half meditations. You, some of the, the meditation instructors are fantastic. So I do like a five minute meditation just to calm down. And then I think about, I, I pull out my success journal. Um, I actually just keep a journal by my bed just to make notes. Cause if you ever have that uh, moment where you have divine inspiration in the middle of the night and you have nothing to write on, that's a problem. So I just keep a journal by my bed and any ideas that come to me, because usually the best ideas come to us when we're in the shower, when we're exercising and when we're rested, right? So when we have meditation, you have a minute for that computer to, to reboot our minds or our computers. And just, I note any ideas that come to me and I love to give people million dollar ideas, even six figure ideas. And so I'll think about someone that I've encountered during the day and I'll think, gee, this, maybe this is an idea for them. And I just jot it down. And that gives me an opportunity the next day to reach out to someone perhaps and say, Hey, I have an idea for you and, and your life and your business and take it or leave it. Um, and then getting anything out of my head from the day that's kind of stuck in there. Um, you, and I also, how do you get that? You get about that? It. Pardon? I just write about it. I just write uh, about it. I just just jot down. I'm not a um, you know a dear diary, long handed, cursive writing kind of a girl. Right? It's not Bridget Jones diary or anything. It's just kind of bullet points of the day. And okay. then there's the five minute journal. Um, and then there's the five minute journal app. And so the five minute journal app. And I don't even do the journaling part. Like full disclosure, you can say like what were your wins of the day and all that stuff in the app but I just have a snapshot. I just have a picture every day. I take a picture and I put it in my five minute journal. And so I can scroll through and I can just see memories like, Oh, that's the pumpkin pie. I ate. Oh, that's who came to visit me for my birthday. Right. Oh, that's, you know, this lunch that I got to go to. I mean, back when we were going to lunch, you know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> every day now it's like, yay! I sat on my front porch snap of my front yard. <laughs> Another picture of my dog. <laughs> Not as exciting right now. But it's just a, you know, a little photo album of my life in this app. And then I put in my headphones and I usually listen to um, some kind of podcast um, for about 10 or 15 minutes until I get drowsy enough to go to sleep. And that's my power down. Wow, that's awesome. And sometimes I set the turn off timer for like 10 minutes so that it'll shut off. And I'm awake maybe for 12 seconds. Like I'm tired <laughs> at the end. I'm tired at the end of the day. So yeah. my uh, my go to sleep period is very fast. Oh yeah, I would. I need. I need this. I need to give this a run because I can't shut my mind off. It happens almost every night. And just as an example, as we're pulling back the curtain, <laughs> uh, I went to <laughs> sleep, fell asleep pretty quick, which was rare for me. But then something woke me up. I don't even know what. Mm -hmm. And I stayed awake for the next two hours just and it wasn't like lamenting, but I was like in a stupor and I just could not pass over into the sleep world again. And it's so pop weird. Pop into your unplug, pop into your unplug app because they have a go back to sleep meditation Ooh. in there. So if you find that you're waking up in the middle of the night, so I have a, a sweet chocolate lab and she has, she's the third person <laughs> in the bed. <laughs> right? So she's, she's hopping up there and sometimes she rustles around and wakes me up. And if I'm not able to go right back to sleep, I do that go back to sleep meditation and that works. Also, I keep a Kindle by my bed and the Kindles have that lighting that you can read that doesn't activate like your wake up the wake up part of your brain uh, really? you can read reading makes me sometimes tired fiction reading in particular can make me tired enough to go back to sleep wow so, and if the, and if all else fails brian then you can do um a disco nap in the middle of the day also known as a nappuccino where you drink a cup of coffee and then you take a nap for 25 minutes do you know about this? No. This is life changing right now. Okay. What? So, that doesn't yeah, make so sense. Disco nap, if you're old enough, it, it will in a second. So if you're old enough to know what a disco nap is, a disco nap is what the kids used to do when you were in your early 20s. You'd come home from work and you'd take a little disco nap so that you could go disco, <laughs> go out and go party. So now a disco nap, if you're on the other side of that is where you take a short 20 or 25 minute nap and it's refreshing enough to keep you going, but not enough to make you so that you can't go to sleep at night. So the antidote, so the, so the whole uh, recipe is 
you drink a cup of coffee and it takes about 20 to 25 minutes for that caffeine to enter your bloodstream. Wow. So while you're, while it's working, I use an app called Pizzizz, P-Z-I-Z-Z. -Z, and it'll ask you, do you want to go to sleep or do you want to take a nap? So you drink the coffee and then you lay down and you pick the voice. But I listened to this guy who's got this really deep voice. And he said, like, you know, stretch, tense all your muscles and then relax. And then the next thing you know, he's waking you up. It's 25 minutes later, you wake up, the caffeine's hit your system and you go right back to work. Wow. So I take, I take a nappuccino or a disco nap like five days out of seven. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's, it's a, it's a miracle. It's a miracle. Life-changing. You're welcome. Thank you. <laughs> to everybody. You say it was, what'd you call it? Puffiz? P well, Pizzizz, P-Z-I-Z-Z. -Z. And you can set the timer for however long you want to take a nap. But if you sleep too long, then you run the risk of upsetting your sleep cycle. But that 25 minutes, all it does is refresh you. It's awesome. So do you do you literally fall asleep? Yeah. Huh. Not yeah. just like what they call I've, it. I've done it sleep. everywhere too. Yeah, I've done it everywhere. Like I go, I'll go get back in bed or I'll just lean back in my chair and close my eyes or lean back in my chair in my car. Right. Like if I've been on a long trip and I've been driving, going somewhere and I'm tired, I'll just lay back and go to sleep hmm. for 20 minutes. And then it wakes you up. He's like, it's time to wake up. And it starts ringing these sweet little bells. And the next thing you know, you're like, do to do. Like it never happened. <laughs> <That is> awesome. <laughs> I mean, when you <laughs> first said drink happened. coffee, take a nap, like, wait a second. How does that wait work? Wait a second. Everyone says the same thing. That doesn't work on Ray. Well, it does. It's not instantaneous. It's not like a shot of adrenaline. <laughs> <laughs> caffeine is ca caffeine is not instantaneous. I wish it was sometimes, but so I guess you want to drink the cup of coffee fairly rapidly, though. Yeah, just it. Don't make it hot coffee. Don't overthink it. Just it doesn't need to be fluffy. Okay. Right. It can just be just a. I mean, you can even be a little more ninja about it. Like I remember when I was in high school, we used to take Vibrin. Right, you had a toilet oh, yeah. paper, and it was due tomorrow, and no you dose. hadn't done no. your homework. I don't know, no dose. Like I don't know, that was never me. Obviously, I know about the strategy, so it was totally me. So we <laughs> take the no dose, so you don't go to sleep. It's the same thing. You can get caffeine pills that are the same as a cup of coffee. So you take the pill and you go to sleep. Ah. Twenty five minutes later, just don't hit snooze. Whatever you do, this is not a this is not a snooze situation, kids. You got to get right up. You got to just say, as soon as the bell goes off, I'm up. And you will shake it off within three to five minutes. You will not know that you took a nap other than you will just feel better. That's awesome. Three. Man, you brought back yeah. some memories with the uh, no-dos and there was something Turn called- papers. Yeah, yeah, there was something called Jolt Cola back then. Yeah, Jolt, yes. All the things like, that we did. <laughs> like all the sugar, double the caffeine this or something. being recorded, oh no. <laughs> <laughs> It's phenomenal. Ooh, here's a great question for you by okay. Renee Rambo McEwen. What's your advice for someone that is intimidated or overwhelmed by the idea of writing a book? Oh, that's such a great question. Thank you, Renee. Um, well, writing a book is a big deal. However, if you don't write your book, then the person who needs your message with your knowledge and your expertise will never benefit from what you have to say. So a lot of people will say, well, I can't write a book on something that isn't already out there. There's a book on every subject that's already been written, but your book hasn't been written. So if you're overwhelmed or intimidated by writing a book, I would suggest reading a book like you must write a book because it gives you the basic recipe, right? You wouldn't just decide to bake a cake and not go get a recipe, not go get some assistance from someone who has gone before you. So engage some help, get a recipe, and then just take it one step at a time. There is nothing that has ever been done, whether it's training for a marathon or starting a business or writing a book that isn't done one step at a time. Everything is just one step at a time, one day at a time. And I advise my authors to set a word count goal and just in a day's time. So write just 250 words a day or write 500 words a day. Oh, 500 words is a lot of words. Like, 
your last email was 500 words. Like settle down. It's not that, <laughs> it's not that big of a deal. <laughs> Brian, I've gotten emails from you. Some of your emails are 500 words. You must write a book. <laughs> So just take it one step at a time. Just put one foot in front of the other and you will then see, like I'm working with an author and he wrote me yesterday and he said, I've got 47,000 words. And he said, I think I'm going to have 60,000 by the time we were done. And I remember when we started, you know, in the early fall, he was like, oh, I don't know, 50,000 words, 60,000 words sounds like so much. I'm not sure I can get there. And I said, just do your outline. Just write down the questions. What are the things that you think people need to know? What are the questions that people already ask you? Write down the questions and then write your answers to the questions. You'll be you'll be thrilled at how quickly the knowledge will just come right out. That's very, very awesome. Uh, I didn't tell you this before the show, but I'm 90% done with my book. And uh, right on. Using similar Yay. approach that you're talking about right now, it works, you know, mm -hmm. to outline it, to get the topics down to arrange them in the right order that you want them to come out. And then just, it's like, oh shoot, I can write about this all freaking day. Are you kidding That's me? Right. That's right. It's already yep. in there. You're just having a conversation. You're just doing it in writing. That's all. It's just, it, it, most people say, well, I'm not a writer, but if you're a talker, <laughs> yeah. if you can talk, you can write and, and no one writes a book alone. There is no one person that's ever written a book that didn't have a team of people, editors, proofreaders, right? Other sets of eyes. It's a team, it's a team effort. So you just, you do your part and then you engage the team to help you. And it, it will end yeah. up being one of the best things that you have ever done. Absolutely. My, my mentor did not put pen to paper. He wrote his entire book from words and just had it recorded and then had an editor put it all together. So yeah, perfect example. Yes, Jolt was crazy. Jason Nass, my <laughs> buddy. That is the that's the owner of the Big Insider Secrets, the one that is giving away this uh, incredible vacation stay every single week that oh, we do. Awesome. This. Hi, Jason. And I'm going to be uh, meeting him in Vegas tomorrow. And we're going to close the doors oh, for four days. I'm and scared of you. We're going to get some work <laughs> I'm done. Of you. We're do some work. No fun. Uh, it'll be fun just because okay. we're together. But he's a good friend. That's right. Yes four bazillion words and comes with a get sleep guarantee. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. How do we not sleep? That's the question, right? It's not how do we get better sleep or more sleep? It's how do we not fall asleep on our keyboard? <laughs> I will tell you something. I am literally sad almost every day when it gets to the point where I know I need to go to bed. Even if I'm not tired, I just don't want to. I want to keep going. It's just. I know. Yeah. Yeah, I, I was one of those people that could survive on four hours of sleep because there's so Ooh. many more things I want to do and learn. And, and yes, well, you know what? I can't believe it. We're three minutes out. Um, there is one question oh. I love to end every show with, with each and every one of you amazing people. And uh, it's a it's a good one. It's a deep one and it can be a little personal, but it's been okay. phenomenal. The The responses have just it been quite surprising to me. And okay. I love to end it that way because it's such a an upbeat way to go. And okay. before I do that, speaking of our buddy, Jason Nast, I promised everyone how they could enter to win a five night stay at a five star luxury resort compliments of you guessed it, the big insider secrets. This is what you do now. Honoré and I now give you permission. If you've been watching on a tablet or a computer, you can now take out your smartphone, but just for a moment and bring up your messaging app because this is how you're going to enter. I'll put it up on the screen right now. Take out your phone and bring up your messaging app and where you would put in the name of the person you would normally text, instead type in this phone number. And that is 314-665-1767. Yes, and Honoré, you can enter as well if you like. 314-665-1767. I have had guests win. I definitely have. And in the yeah. message area, you can type, the letter or the words there's two words separated by a dash or a hyphen if you prefer peak that's p-e-a-k dash vacation all together peak dash vacation no spaces go ahead and do that right now and get it done and then follow the instructions that will ensue you will get an automated text message back uh, i think we asked for your email i don't even remember all the steps there's like two steps involved and you just enter your email and we will then officially our system puts you in as an official uh contest taker i forgot the name of the um, uh, you're making entrant. me what's that entrant. thank entrant. you entrant yes 
All right, let's get back to the good stuff. That was good too. And thank you, Jason Nast and the big insider secrets.com yeah. for those wonderful giveaways every single week. Now, one of my most favorite parts of the show. And I don't know what this question is. Oh, that makes it even better. All yes. right. Well. And then right before we, after this question, I'm going to ask if you wouldn't mind uh, letting people know how to get in touch with you. So we'll hit that right in the, right at the big, very end here. But before that, I can't wait to ask this question. So are you ready? <laughs> I think so. <laughs> so just, just to put you a little more at ease, there is no such thing as a wrong answer. It doesn't exist. In fact, it's the opposite. The only correct answer is yours. And that is the only thing that makes this personal. All right. With that, here we go. Honoré Quarter. How do you define success? Mm. Um, I think I've already said it by impacting the lives of others in a positive way, by seeing their gifts and helping them to share their gifts with the world, specifically through their books. But in any way that they feel is best. That's how I define success. Mm. I love what I get to do. I just so love this because of wonderful, amazing responses like that. Uh, you know, no, no one person has ever said when I make another million and it's never money centric, it's about other people. And I didn't expect anything different uh, in that case from you. The, no two people have answered it identically the same way yet. And I've done hundred and I don't know where I'm at, 20 some shows. And that's what's cool about it. And if you don't mind, at some point, I'll be reaching back to you and asking your permission to add your response to a collaborative book that's going to be titled, How Do You Define Success? Oh, permission granted. Love it. You heard it right there. It's recorded, too. Okay. Recorded. Uh-oh. And I'll yeah. come back to you, and maybe you yeah. can help with the publishing and all the marketing. Let's, let's make it I fun. I love it. I would love it. Fun. Let's do it. Right on. All I have right, to go Andy. to Vegas with you, though. I'm going to bring my husband. There's great food there. Come on over. Craft steak, bouchon. Yeah, there's all kinds of good all kinds of good stuff we can get into there. I'll be there tomorrow at noon. So <laughs> come on I'll over. still be sleeping. <laughs> no, I'll be napping. Uh, <laughs> uh, before I let you go, though, I want to let people in on how to get in touch with you because I know there are so many aspiring authors that can use what you do. And look, who would not want to work with this young woman. I mean, seriously, I'm dead serious. This is someone who will get you the results you want and deserve uh, and be respectful of her and know that she's a professional at the same time and don't ask for things that are ridiculous. I've seen that happen before, but Honoré is a, a woman of integrity and character and you can see she's a product of the product. So reach out to her, don't be shy, take action, do it. And to reach out to her, let's uh, put something on the screen to give her a little cue to go with that wasn't it it'll be this one instead oh. but that one works too it's the that's the website yeah they both work yeah so they're right there on the front of my website you can get your own free digital copy of you must write a book it's the full book too it's not two chapter opt-in right there get a free copy of the book and read the book and then if you think that i might be helpful to you in your book i have a couple of different ways so I would love to hear from you. I would love to help you work on your book and get your book out into the world. And what is the best way for someone to actually reach out to you and say, I do want to work with you? Is it this contact link or? There's a contact link in the back and they can send an email that comes directly, directly to me. There you go. You heard it straight from yeah. here. And that web address for those of you on podcast only that are listening after the fact, it's honorayquarter.com and that is spelled H O N. O R E E C O R D E R dot com, honorayquarter dot com, and go get your book called You Must Write a Book. I love that title. It's like straight to the point. That's wow. what it should be. <laughs> There's a hint but, on how to title your book. Yes. <laughs> straight to the point. Yes. It, it is. I love it. Always a product of the product. I love it. Honoré, thank you so very, very much. I am so thrilled that you came on uh, and I appreciate you for spending this time and staying up late for, not just for me, but for everyone that got to interact and, and be part of and experience your brilliance and your value. And you've made a difference in many, you've made a difference in my life. I know that with the, a lot of the tips you gave already, I've got them written down. I mean, this is page two of my notes. I started on a different page just so everybody knows. 
I don't just uh, ask you to do things that I typically wouldn't do myself. I'm there right in the way and I'm, I'm the director, I'm the host, I'm doing all, it's so fun, I love this. Uh oh, we have comments, let's see if any of them are worthy of. Yes, love to give, Jason Nast is definitely a giver. There is no doubt about that. And you're very thank welcome. You Jason, for sponsoring. Yes, thank you, buddy. And Renee Rambo McEwen, thanks for the interesting and informative conversation. Absolutely. Woo, she thank is you, Renee. On all on right. Fire. What's that? I said she's on fire. All Her middle right. name's Rambo. I mean, <laughs> come on. Love it. <laughs> yeah. All right. Well, that is it for tonight. I appreciate each and every one of you who watched uh, and the audience who came on uh, watching us live and then all of those that are listening on podcast. Be sure to subscribe to this podcast and keep them coming because we do this every single week. We have a library of 120 something. I lost count and they're all value packed. Uh, but if you're looking to write a book and if you want to get your message out there, if you want to get exposure for your business, then this is the young lady for you to reach out to Honoré Quarter. So do that. Go to honorécorder.com right now because we're closing the show out. There's really nothing more to, to tell you. So go there now. If you're still watching, you shouldn't be watching. Go to honorécorder.com and you're so contact bossy. her and get that free book. Do it now. And I, like I didn't that. get paid for this, but maybe I should. Maybe I should come back and ask for royalties. But no, I'm just kidding. Right. Seriously, do this. Take action and get your book written because everyone has a book in them. Honoré, thank you once again. Thank I cannot tell so you how much. much I appreciate you. That is it for this edition of the Mind Body Business Show. On behalf of the amazing Honoré Quarter, I am Brian Kelly, your host. We'll see you again next week. Until then, actually, it'll be a couple weeks because of holidays, but we'll be back. Yeah. Just just okay. go to the mindbodybusinessshow.com, register, and you'll be notified the next time our show goes live, which will be on a Thursday, I think two weeks from tonight. I, I have to look at the calendar. We'll be back. All right. That's it for now. Good night, everyone. So long and be blessed. Thank you for tuning in to the Mind Body Business Show podcast at www.themindbodybusinessshow.com. My name is Brian Kelly.